A tragic loss for two Hamilton County families after a crash killed two teens while on their way to prom. Today, the family of London Byram sat down in an interview with our Amber Grigley to talk about his life and some of the most amazing memories that they will cherish forever. Sharing conversation and getting ready for the prom and um, being together and later on after we went home, um, getting that phone call was the worst moment of our lives and um, changed everything. A horrific scene that plays over and over for Gina Rogers and Lisa Lucian just hours after saying what is now their final goodbyes to their nephew, Lyndon Byram. Our hearts are absolutely broken and um, we'll never ever be the same. The day started out with a well-planned schedule for what would have been an amazing night at prom. Lyndon was so happy. He, um, he was really excited that he coordinated it all. Lyndon's Aunt Lisa did his girlfriend's hair, Kaylin Hart, along with another friend who was in the car at the time of the crash. He came in, he gave me a big hug right there at the table and, um, told me thank you for doing the girl's hair and eating sandwiches and just chatting about life after high school something they were all looking forward to he wanted to do a few different things at one point he was talking about becoming a lawyer because he is so good at arguing you know he was in not in a negative way at all but he was in the debate team and he was good at it he was actually going to be representing indiana and in, um in state. A smart individual who was kind, loved music and anime, well respected and filled many hearts with so much love. With heavy hearts, his parents Rick and Summer Byram were not ready to talk about Lyndon, but wanted the community to know how thankful they are for all of the calls and prayers and to also share some of their fondest memories of Bubby, their only child. I have never seen grief the way the, like this. I'm Amber Grigley, WRTV. And our hearts go out to them. London Byram's visitation is Friday from 3 to 7 p.m. at Cicero Christian Church. The funeral is Saturday at 10 a.m. at the same church. Kaylin Hart's funeral is set for 1 p.m. Friday at Randall and Roberts Funeral Center on Westfield Road in Noblesville. Visitation is Thursday from 4 to 8 at the same funeral home.